All right, I wanted to do uh, just a short little kind of DIY install today just to show how I do a, uh, a mic setup on the Lowrider S, and this can be applied to any motorcycle. And uh, this is going to be to capture really good engine audio with zero wind noise. And uh, so first thing you're going to want to do is get some kind of mic. Um, and for this method, since this mic is not going to be located in the helmet, you don't need a lav mic. I've seen some people get some bigger recording devices that you can just mount inside, you know, under the seat or something. The only downside to that is you're going to have to sync your audio with your video. Um, so I don't really want to go through the hassle of that. And so I just got another lav mic from Purple Panda. This is a good one. This is the one I've been using the past couple videos and, uh, I had to get another one because the one I was using, it melted because it accidentally dropped down while I was going pretty quickly on the freeway. It just kind of slipped down and touched the exhaust and it kind of just melted um, one of the pieces. Uh, so I got another one, so I figured I'd, I'd make a little video and show you how I do it. Um, so this is a good brand and it's real simple. And all I'm gonna do really is, uh, just mount it somewhere. I'll show you outside in a second. And then I'm going to run the wire up to my GoPro, which is attached to my helmet. And, uh, and then when I don't want to use it, I'm just going to be able to tuck it up somewhere in the bike. So uh, inside here, you can get this on Amazon for like 30 bucks. Uh, it comes with a big extension cord, which I don't need. A little clip uh, if you're going to wear it on your shirt or something. Um, and then just some kind of other accessories that we don't need. So really the only thing I'm using is this wind uh, sock here. You need this piece because this is what's going to go into the GoPro and this is what's attaching to the mic. And then in here you have the actual mic. So the mic is going to be mounted inside the bike and then this is going to run out and plug in to this piece. And then this is what plugs into the GoPro mic adapter, which is mounted on my uh, GoPro. Uh, so if you just try and plug the mic directly into your GoPro, it's not going to work. So you do need this piece here. So just be sure you have that. And then I had some adhesive, but I ran out of it, so this is going to be kind of ghetto, I guess. Um, I'm just going to use, if I have to, I'm going to use just some, a little bit of tape. But I did find this. Um, I actually have one on my desk. It's just like a wire organizer. So what I'm going to do this. I'm just going to cut it in half and then mount that on the inside of my bike. Um, so we'll just see how that works out. Let's just cut it right there. And then we'll bring these outside. All right. Okay, so we're over here on the exhaust side and I have found that the best place to put it is actually on the inside of this plate here. This is pretty solid, um, keeps it away from the engine. I uh, don't have to take the seat off and it's just these two little Allen bolts here. Um, and there's a little plug that you just pull out. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so this is what I used, and that came off of this one right here. I don't know if you can see that. That's the 5 and 32. Okay, so once that's off, you just grab here and just pull straight out. Okay. So now, I'm gonna get that little adhesive that I had here. It's just gonna go like that. So I want the mic mounted just somewhere right in the middle here. 
Okay, that's on there good. It's not going anywhere. So this little sock here, you can take this clip off if you want. You can just leave the uh, cover that's on and you can just put this on over. It's not too hard. There you go. Just for that extra coverage there. Okay, and then now basically what I'm doing is I'm just securing the mic in here. Okay, now that is moving around a little bit, so. Kind of Mickey Mouse this. I just wrapped it under once. Put that back down. Okay, and so now it's here. And then you're just gonna let out as much slack as you need. Not too much. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do, I'm gonna have to do something here, but that's it right there. That's what you want. And then this is just gonna get secured back in place. And then I just have the line run straight up into the middle of the seat here. And then I can just pull it directly to my helmet just so there's a little bit of slack. And then when I'm done, I can just, I either just kind of wrap it up near the seat here. Um, that way you're not gonna have to take this off and on every time, but this is money right here. If you can get this going, this is what I use the past few videos so you can hear there's absolutely no wind noise. Um, it's super crisp and it still picks it up well. It's not like, so, I mean, it's really close to the exhaust, but it's not too loud. Um, so this is how I've found success. Um, so that's it. It's real easy. Just mount the mic in here, put it there, run the wire up, and you're good to go. So I just wanted to show a little bit about what I had planned coming up for the videos ahead. Since I didn't get to make any this week, I had some time to make some plans for some rides. And so the next series of videos is going to be in the Santa Monica Mountains. I grew up in Topanga Canyon here, and uh, so I grew up surfing all up and down Malibu, and uh, when I learned to drive and ride motorcycles, just hit every canyon uh, for these 30 miles that span across here. So I thought it'd be cool to document it, just because there are a lot of notable ones that are well known, and just wanted to give kind of an up-close look and then open it up for discussion. and. Uh, so I'm going to do as many videos as I can um, to cover as much as I can. But just real quick, while I have this map up, I just wanted to show a few notable spots that I'm going to cover. So uh, for those that aren't familiar with this area that are from out of state or just out of town, uh, I'm in Ventura right now, which is in Ventura County. And downtown LA is right here. So I am outside of LA. And all the videos that you have been seeing recently have been stemming from Ventura. So I'm really enjoying being up here, but uh, I'm going to do some stuff down here. And uh, it, it's really not that far. I mean, it's only like 30 minutes to get from Ventura down to the start of the mountains here. Maybe less, like 25. And so the first thing I'm planning to do is I'll come down and... Uh, if you are in this area, I would recommend coming to a place called Neptune's Net. This is a famous uh, biker stop on Sundays, and uh, this lot here just gets filled with all kinds of bikes uh, and across the street. It's a really cool place to see some 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 really good bikes and builds, and uh, there's some good food too, but it's super expensive. Uh, this is a, like I said, it's a pretty well-known spot. It's been in some movies, like if you've seen uh, Fast and the Furious 1, the scene where Brian and Dom are racing that Ferrari 
in Malibu uh, while they're in the Supra. They end up coming up this way and they pull off and that next scene is them eating at Neptune's net. Uh, so that's kind of a good place to stop. Um, and then right next to it is a road called Yerba Buena, which is quite technical. Um, and that goes way up. And uh, if you go a little bit further, there's another one uh, called Decker Road, which is quite well known. And so I'm going to be doing that one. And Decker connects all the way to Westlake, but I'm not going to go that far. I'm just concerned kind of with everything uh, west of Mulholland, and Mulholland kind of runs parallel. So I'm going to do one video where I do the whole length of Mulholland so we can see that. Uh, another well-known spot is uh, called The Snake, and that is off Canaan. So if you are going back inland from Canaan, when it intersects with Mulholland, you're going to take a right. And just around the corner, you have the snake. And the snake is this whole road here, this whole section of Mulholland. But the most famous spot is this final turn here. And uh, it's really well known. And uh, bikers always, they mob uphill here. And then they go around this, this final turn. Uh, kind of as quickly as they can without falling and you can see a ton of videos on YouTube of guys just dumping their bikes left and right and uh, So if you are gonna come here be wary of this spot because a lot of people go down and it could be you uh, Don't let it be you as they say so uh, there is another lookout spot here at the snake and uh yeah, so uh, that's that. And then another one is, oh man, I messed up my, I'm just on the touchpad right now, so I don't know how to, I'm just gonna get it back to where it was. All right, cool. Okay, so the snake is real cool. Um, and then you can keep following Mulholland and eventually you'll get to a place called the Rock Store. This is a big stop for bikers here as well. And then if you want to keep going, you're going to intersect with Malibu Canyon. Uh, over here. Okay. And so Malibu Canyon or Las Virginis, that goes inland as well. It kind of runs parallel with Canaan, just a little farther south. And so then if you want to get on Mulholland and take that a little ways, come to another road that is awesome, which I highly recommend, called Stunt Road. So Stunt Road is here, and then you can take that to the top. And there is another lookout here at the top where people like to stop and check out each other's rides and whatnot. Uh, and that intersects with Saddle Peak, and Saddle Peak eventually goes down into Topanga Canyon, where I grew up. So uh, those are just a few, but I'm gonna be documenting as many notable roads as I can. Another one is Payuma. So if you go up Stunt, and then you just take it down a little bit, you'll get to Payuma. That's another one that connects back to Malibu Canyon. Uh, yeah, so those are just a few, but I'll be doing a lot more than that. And that's kind of just what's coming, what I have planned. Uh, a lot of people that I've been talking to in the comments the past couple of weeks have been from uh, back east, uh, which is awesome. Because uh, I know there's a lot of great roads out there. Um, but I just kind of want to put this out just to share uh, this area that I grew up in and enjoy currently. And, uh, and then another one after that, I plan to do an overnight trip to the Mojave. So uh, that first video I did was out to Tehachapi here. And I'm going to go out to the Mojave. So uh, there's this place called the Jawbone Store. Um, uh, if you're familiar with that. And uh, I'm going to go nearby there to just camp out in the middle of the desert and give you a sense of what that looks like. So I have a lot of other things planned after that, but we'll just kind of do one thing at a time and uh, have some fun with this, with the Santa Monica mountains here. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of mess around with this map and show you a little bit what's going on. Um, kind of just 
thrown a whatever video together today just to kill some time. So I appreciate you watching, and uh, I'll be making a video, uh, hopefully put it out on Sunday. Cool, thanks.